eyeing the details of the shadows along the face juxtaposed against the bright interior of the cranium, we can understand the artist's interpretation of a mob mentality. The bright shining overlap of color splotches really speak to the inner child of a viewing patron. It's the type of bright je ne sais quoi that portrays a thought of airiness to the piece. In homage to Blixen, Tenkel Gamogard's brilliant use of layered paints as a whisper of words into an otherwise blank canvas. A true artistic visionary. Though the room is empty, one can still feel the presence of a being through the lights, peering through the window, whispering in. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. She's big-eyed and curious, as though she is well aware of her innocence, her freedom as she traverses the garden, a metaphor, of course, for life. Absolutely breathtaking. Dorina Mokan is truly a gifted artist. Her brush strokes bring an air of life to this piece. This is true art. <laughs> The colors, they, a critic can say, Mitch Colson's piece, Women by a Waterfall, is like a ch simplistic childlike approach. Mitch Col Colson's piece, Women by a Waterfall, it sucks. It's bad. Mitch Colson, as an artist, uh, was too lazy to even blend out the colors. It shows laziness in her work. I, <laughs> she didn't even have time to blend in or map out anything. I mean, this was supposed to be a beautiful approach on womanhood and the, the freedom of, of women. And it's trash. <sighs> Mitch Colson should not be an artist. <sighs> she can never clean her brushes off. Why do I even try? My mom was right. Good artists get paid. Good artists don't need a job at the supermarket. Good artists don't live at home with their parents. Good artists understand color. <laughs> Mitch Carlson understands the joie de vivre of being a free woman in the modern age, flowing like a waterfall through the whimsies of their lives. We're standing not just at the pitfalls, but the joys of womanhood itself. What can't this fantastic artist do? Get out of my house! Oh, and this piece. Oh, this piece I simply must have for my collection. This piece shows not only the understanding of color in the last one, but the understanding of lack of color that's necessary in art. What can't Midge Coulson do? What are you doing here? Did you... Did you break into my house to mock my art? Oh, this one. Oh, this. Not only is this a different medium, but a completely different feel. Midge Coulson is a goddess, truly versed in the ways of art. What are you doing here? I'm viewing the art gallery, waxing poetics of the futility of life and the joys of simply breathing. Stop talking like that. Stop. Talking like superficial, pompous, 
like a hack that's only job is talking without saying anything. Who are you? You, you're a fan. And I am too. What? How? Who are you? And how are you here? I am Yurato, muse and goddess of love and poetry. Not to be confused with Aphrodite. <laughs> no, no, you can't honestly expect me to believe that you're... A goddess who came down in the form of your favorite art piece. If that's the story you're going with. It is. And let's just be glad that you weren't in love with Picasso. I'm here to inspire you. Why haven't I heard of you before? Because I'm usually paired with my eight sisters. I'm sure the modern world doesn't remember all of the gods and goddesses. Okay. Okay, if I'm gonna go along with this, uh, why didn't they send down the goddess of art? The, the goddess of painting or whatever. That's my sister Athena. She's very busy at the moment and sometimes we take over when she can't come down. So I'm so impressive as an artist that they sent a B-list goddess to talk to me? No, of course not. I came down here to visit you myself. What? Why? You have loved art ever since you were born. That kind of commitment does not go unrewarded. Just look at the brushstrokes in this piece and the passion that they hold. I was just using that tile to clean my brushes in between color changes. And look at the care and love between each and every stroke. Face it, I'm bad at art. <laughs> I'm not gonna make any money off of this. I have to give up. Who says that capital is the one way to define true art? Ronald Reagan, probably. Many great artists have been lost in the sea of free market. No soul sucks dry by, by the need to survive in a brutal world controlled by golden towers. Very eloquently said. Darling, I'm the goddess of lyrical poetry for a reason. Fatal flaw comes to any great artist at the perception of failure for monetary gain. True art is shared through the soul. But, Yurdo, how am I supposed to make Darling, a living off of this part is always hard. Not every artist can make a living off of the work, as amazing as that would be. Then what are you doing here? If I can't live off of this this crap then why am i being visited by the goddess of romantic poetry remember this one just look at the soul of it it belongs in the trash more like bold and brash what's the story behind it i just made it when my boyfriend broke up with me in high school oh well you know what i see i see the awakening of a little girl to a cruel world a place where men let the toxic qualities of their nature take over and pollute the beauty of the world. Yeah, well... You're right. I did realize that I liked girls after this, huh? That's what I see. Oh, or where is the... Ah, what? This one. Remember when your dad left for the Navy? You didn't really understand what the inside of a military ship looked like, but you knew what a cruise ship looked like. Yeah, I guess adding a giant crystal chandelier to the inside of a upside down lobby really probably isn't what the USS Alaska looks like when it's flipped over. Hey, you were 14 and knew nothing about the military. It's the thought that counts. Yeah, I, I did miss them. I'm glad he came back. Too bad you think this piece is horrible. I think it's beautiful. No, no, this one's good. Toxicity is though, right? No, I still don't like Justin, even now. But you're right, I, I do associate this one with the feeling of like I woke up. When you tried other mediums, like soap carving. That was for my art history class. But that was kind of a fun experience. Candle making. 
My first date with a girl. Mm. I see this one's broken. And I guess it belongs in the trash. Oh, no, no. I, I actually meant this for a sculpture idea. Oh? Okay, hear me out. I broke the candle when we broke up, right? Yes. I would take the candle and I'd fix it with multicolored wax to show that I've grown Grown from from the experience and now no more hope for it. it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I I thought it'd be cool. It would. How how did you do that? What? You know what? Darling, I'm a muse. My whole purpose is to inspire, just as art's purpose is to inspire you. Don't give up on yourself. You're so beautiful. This room is beautiful. That's all I needed to hear. I have to go soon. No, can't you stay a little longer? No, we have rules in the godly realm. We can't, shouldn't interfere in human affairs anymore. I need you to intervene. Please intervene more. Every time you make a new piece, I will intervene. But I have to go now. But why? My sisters, they're looking for me. So is this goodbye? This is good night, but not goodbye.